Doctor, another point which is important regarding women in acts of ibadah during uh, seeking Laylatul Qadr. Now, if a woman's on her menses, her period, she's not able to fast or to pray. How would she observe Laylatul Qadr? As far as menstruating women are concerned, they can do all acts of worship, all acts of ibadah during menstruation except praying, fasting, circumambulating around the Kaaba and doing etikaf. Except for these four acts of worship, a woman can do all acts of worship while menstruating. The things that a woman can do in the last ten nights if she's menstruating is that surely she can do dua, she can do supplication, as the Prophet said, it's hadith in Tirmidhi, hadith number 2370, that supplication, dua, is one of the best forms of ibadah. And dua is an ibadah. She can seek for forgiveness by saying, Astaghfirullah. I seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the hadith of Hadith Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, which is mentioned in Tirmidhi, hadith number 3512, the Hadith Aisha may Allah be pleased with her, she asked Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that if she knew that this was the night of Laylatul Qadr, what should she do? So the Prophet answered that she should pray to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and say that you are the one who is of forgiving. You love forgiveness, so please forgive me. So asking forgiveness is one of the best things a person can do. The other thing a woman can do when she's menstruating during these days is she can do dhikr. For example, she can read Subhanallah, hey, Alhamdulillah, hey, wala ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar. Which means, glory be to Allah, praise be to Allah. There is no God worthy of worship except Allah, and Allah is the greatest. She can read Subhanallah, bihamdi, meaning, glory be to Allah, and praise be to Allah. She can read Subhanallah, well, azim, that praise be to Allah, Allah is the greatest. So one is doing dhikr. As much as dhikr they do, it's better for them. And they can also do recitation of the Qur'an. And they can read the Qur'an. So all these other acts of worship will get them closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during these nights.